Hi everyone, welcome to Class Info, and today I am reviewing Tata Tiago XZ Plus. This is the grey color of the car, and is a front look. Now let's look at the headlamps. This gets projector headlamps with follow me home function. You have a chrome ring surrounding the fog lamp. A smiley hexagon grill. Looks quite nice. Let's check the engine. The car comes with two engine options. A 1.2 litre 3 cylinder Revotron petrol engine which produces 84 bhp of power and 140 Nm of torque. Another a 1.05 litre 3 cylinder Revotorque diesel engine which produces 69 bhp of power and 140 Nm of torque. The claim mileage of the car is 24 km per litre in petrol and 27.2 km per litre in diesel. Now coming to the side, length 3.75 meter, width 1.65 meter, height 1.5 meter, wheelbase 2.4 meter, 170 millimeters of ground clearance. The curb weight is 970 kg for petrol and 1080 kg for the diesel. You get disc brakes at the front. The alloy wheel size is 175 by 60 R15. They look like the Tigor stock variant. Here is a closer side look. Coming to the rear. These are the tail lamps. The design looks quite appealing overall. Parking sensors, rear wiper and defogger, high mount stop lamp on the integrated spoiler with the gloss black paint, a subtle chrome line on the tailgate. You get 242 liters of boot space with a parcel shelf on top. This is a spare wheel on which it's written it's limited up to 80 km per hour speed. So now let's check the interiors. You get window switches, chrome door handles in the interior, ORVM control, piano black finish around the AC vents, illuminated keyhole. Safety features include dual front airbags and ABS with EBD. The steering wheel gets controls for voice command, phone and media. Wiper toggle, headlamp toggle. It does a full swipe and the instrument cluster gets an MID which shows Trip A, Trip B, Average Fuel Economy, Average Speed, Distance to Empty, Clock, Gear Shift Indicator. It gets Connect Next 7 inch touchscreen infotainment system by Harman which supports USB, AUX, Bluetooth, Android Auto connectivity. And there are more than 6 speakers in the car. Fog lamp button and eco mode button. 
automatic climate control, uh, USB and aux ports along with charging socket. Five speed manual and AMT gearboxes are, are available. You get three cup holders alongside handbrake. The glove box is really well sized. The driver sunshade gets ticket holder. Co driver sunshade gets vanity mirror. You get manually adjustable IRBM. Now let me show you the key of this car. It's a flip key. Now let's check the back seat. All doors get one liter bottle holders. The left side shows maximum legroom and the right side shows minimum legroom. You get fixed headrests as well as seat belts. I'm 5 feet 8 inches tall and I have good legroom and under thigh support. Decent headroom, but there is a transmission tunnel which hinders the legroom for the middle passenger. You also get a bottle holder. A central LED light. The fuel tank capacity is 35 liters. Colors available blue, brown, grey, red, white, and orange. On road price in Kolkata is 6.72 lakhs for the petrol and 7.64 lakhs for the diesel. If you like this review, make sure to click the thumbs up button and also subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.